Hey, have you been thinking about buying a home this past year but just haven't pulled the trigger yet? Well, I've got great news for you. I got three reasons why right now, December, January, February, can be the best time for home buyers to go out, find, and buy a home. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Portland, Oregon, helping home buyers all over the place. Let's get going. All right, reason number one, beat the rush. Check out this chart, chart that I've got up here and pay attention to the red line because the red line are the total number of pending sales. That means every time that a buyer submitted an offer and it was accepted by a homeowner, you've got a pending sale there. And it just shows how it drops off every December, January, February, every year for the last five years. This is what happens. There are fewer buyers out looking for homes at this time. And so you're not gonna be competing against other people on the same house or far fewer than you would, as you can clearly see when you get into uh, May, June, July, those times of the year. So going out of this time, December, January, February, less competition, beating the rush. All right, and reason number two, historically low interest rates. Okay, check out this chart that I've got up here, uh, provided me just this morning by one of my preferred lenders, Evan Carr. This, uh, also this chart, I've got links to it down in the description, you can check it out. Look what we're seeing here. Since 1980, we are at some of the lowest interest rates that we have seen in the last 40 years. It is incredible. There were some rates uh, this low a couple years back, but we thought by this point in the year, we would be up above 5%. No, we are still kicking around 3.5, 3.65 on a fixed 30-year mortgage, which is the most common type of mortgage that a lot of folks will be taking out to purchase a house. And just look at this compared to what it was in the 80s. You talk to anybody that uh, had to buy a house in the 80s and it's practically like you're getting free money right now. Now if you want to understand how interest rates affect your monthly mortgage payments, your PITI, check out my video about mortgage rates that I've got, uh, also a link to in the description of this video where we break it down and explain exactly you know, what a half a percent would make a difference uh, to your monthly payments every month. So awesome interest rates, great reason to be buying December, January, February this year. All right, and reason number three, use your buyer leverage. Here's what I mean by this. First of all, take a look at this screenshot that I took this morning of, these are all listings on the market right now in the Portland area that have dropped their price in the last seven days. Like that is a lot of price reductions all over the city. All right, second graph, let's throw it up, here we go. This here, this line represents the percent difference between the original list price and the final sales price of the home. So when it's dropping below 100%, that means that that home sold for less than it was originally listed for. And you can see it drops every winter. The reason for that is this, here's how it works. A bunch of houses are coming onto the market through the summer, into the fall, whole glut of houses. Uh, home sellers are seeing prices get pushed up and they want to push up their price listed at really high because they think they can make a lot of money off of it but they've got a whole bunch of competition with other houses being sold and eventually it's gonna come out that they're still sitting around on the market and then they have to start dropping their price and they're gonna be a little bit antsy because they've been sitting around a while. They wanted this thing sold back in September and it's still December, January. They're gonna be more willing, likely, to make a bargain, okay? So better opportunity for submitting a below list price offer and getting it accepted in these winter months. That is the buyer leverage. So as I promised, here's three really good tips of how you can get yourself started on this process because I know it can be really daunting. Number one, get yourself pre-approved. If you need any lender recommendations, give me a call or send me an email. I've got a bunch that I can recommend to you and I'm sure there's one that'll be perfect for to match your personality type, the type of lender that you want. Get yourself pre-approved easier than you think. Number two, we'll set up a home search for you, finding homes that, that you you want to see and then step three we go and look at homes it's a blast it is so much fun all right so i'm alex roy trusted realtor in portland oregon helping home buyers buy homes give me a call shoot me an email tell me about your real estate goals